What is going on everybody and this is unfortunately take two. I tried a different route and uh, well needless to say it was out of focus but thank you for joining my channel. I hope you guys are doing great out there. My name is JD and you can find me on all the social medias at JD Sneakers on Fire. Now if this is your first time joining thank you for stopping by and please go ahead and consider subscribing and liking my channel. We just hit a thousand subscribers this week, so I'm really excited about that and I really do appreciate all the support. Today we're going to go over all the US and European releases for the week of May 16th. Alright, so we're going to begin with the US and on May 17th, the Nike Dunk High in the University Red is dropping. You're going to be able to pick these up for $115. I am not a fan of these, but I'm not a fan of most Dunk Highs. I just think the quality is really shady on them and I personally don't want to own any. So, but if you like them, go ahead and pick them up. On May 18th, there is an anime crossover sneaker coming out with the collaboration of Jordan and that's the Nairudo. And this is going to be in the 200E silhouette. I'm not personally a fan of these. I do like the ideas of the anime crossovers. I just don't happen to like these, but you can pick these up for $150. Maybe comment down below and let me know what you guys' thoughts are. What should Jordan and Nike be collabing with with animes? It'd be pretty interesting ideas out there, I'm sure. Now on May 19th, the LeBron 9 Lowe's in the LeBron Palmer colorway is dropping. That's kind of a mouthful to say, honestly, it's so tough, but this is a really clean sneaker. I don't think it's really getting a whole lot of credit, but this is just in time for summer with the palm trees, this definitely gives me the Miami vibe. So you can probably see my uh, shoes rocking on Instagram here soon, at JD Sneakers on Fire if you're not following, but I, I post up a lot of pictures of my fits up there. And you'll be able to pick these up for $200. Also, dropping in the US and Europe for the Nike Air Max 1 Light Matter Root. These are a super clean sneaker and you're gonna be able to pick these up for $150. Now moving over to May 20th, I'm gonna talk about a few, but there's some potential big news coming out also, so stick around for that. On May 20th, the Nike Hirachi in the Moab colorway is dropping. I simply am not a fan of this silhouette. I know I'll probably get some haters out there, but I just don't like this. This, for me, it doesn't make sense on my feet, so. I'll pass on these, but if you want these, you can pick them up for $120. So now on May 20th, there's some big news coming from the Travis Scott line. It is rumored that there's potentially four drops coming. This is specifically for the TravisScott.com website. And there's two air trainers in the gray haze and wheat colorway. And the Nike Air Max ones in the Saturn gold and brown colorway. Now, I know that after World it's really hard to see where the future of the Travis Scott line is going to go. All I can speak on are these shoes at the moment. And I happen to like the brown in the Air Max 1 colorway. And I probably will try to pick this up. Comment below and let me know what you guys' thoughts are. Are you going to pick these up or pass on them? And if you pass on them, let me know why. But if you happen to like these and you're going to pick them up, they range from 160 to 200. Also on the 21st, dropping in the US and European region is the Yeezy 700 V3 in the faded carbon. I really like the iridescent look and the multicolor side panels. It's super nice. I don't know that I'll pick these up necessarily, although I haven't picked up any 700s and maybe I should give them a try. Maybe they'll look good on my foot, I don't know. But time will tell, maybe I'll pick them up because I really do like these. And you'll be able to pick these up for $210. Now, that will finish us off for the US, and but we're gonna move right over to the European region. And there's some pretty nice kicks coming out this week as well for the Europe. So, without further ado, let's talk about them. So, Monday is all about the restocks. The Yeezy Slides and the Pure Onyx and the Green Glow colorway are dropping in all family sizes. You're going to be able to pick these up for 70 euro. I did put my 
applications in for confirmed. Hopefully I get that drawing and I don't know, it might be my first Yeezy slide. As you can tell, I don't really rock Yeezys too much. And also the Panda Dunk Pandemonium is continuing every week. It seems I keep telling you guys that pandas are restocking, but the Dunk Low and Dunk High pandas will be restocking also on Monday. And of course it ranges from 100 to 110 euro. Also on Monday, the Women's Air Jordan 1 Low in the pastel tie-dye is dropping. It's a clean sneaker, nothing too special about it, but it is great for a summer look. And you can pick these up for 110 euro. Now on May 17th, there is a European store here called Foot District that you need to be verified to use. And there is a potential Nike Dunk Glow Retro in the Racer Blue colorway coming out. I don't know, I haven't seen a confirmed price on these, but I would guess they're 110 euro. And I hope you guys are verified out there. It is quite tough to be verified on that website, at least for me it is. So I don't think I'll be picking these up. I wish I could, but unfortunately I don't think I'll be able to. And let me know in the comments below if you guys can grab these. I'd be interested to know how that process works on Foot District. Also on May 17th, the Jordan 1 Mid Elephant print is dropping. Now, yes, I know it is a mid, but the elephant print is pretty nice. It does come in a grade school sizing, and if you're not an anti-midder, you can get these for 130 to, uh, euro. Mids are fine, people. Mids are fine, sort of. Also on May 17th, the women's Nike Air Force One Mid is dropping in the Stars colorway. It's a clean colorway. It has a perforated stars on the side panel. And if you like them, you can pick them up for 140 euro. Now moving on to May 19th is another women's release of the Nike Dunk Low Sun Club. Yeah, I mean, it's a nice logo on the side panel. You know, pretty wearable. So you can pick these up for 110 euro. Now on May 20th, Nike definitely seems to be delaying a lot of sneakers lately, but these were supposed to come out last week, and that's the women's Jordan 3 Neapolitan colorway. I really do like these shoes, and I hope Nike re-releases these because this should be in a full family sizing. This should not be just a women's colorway, and no offense to the ladies out there, but this one in particular, I definitely think should have been full family sizing across the board. But... If you like these, I hope you go get them. They're 210 euro. So also on May 20th, Jordan and Clot in their Jordan 5 collaboration is coming out. Now, I talked about these last week in the US. They're finally coming out over here in Europe, so I'm definitely gonna try to go grab these. I really love this collaboration. I love the colorway of this. I love that Jade hit, and yes, I still hate that lace lock, but I will get over it because I do want these. And if you also, you can pick them up for 200 euro. On May 21st, you have two Nike Air Max 97, one in the Iron Stone and one in the Suede Bullet colorway dropping. I personally really do like the Suede Bullet. I think this is a very clean sneaker and I'm, I might pick it up. I'm typically not a 97 fan, but I just love how this one looks. And if you like them, you can pick them up for 200 euro each. And to finish this off on May 21st is the Jordan 4 Military Black dropping. I absolutely love this shoe and I will be trying to grab this. From the initial reports that I see, the quality is really nice on these. Now, I think these are so much better than the Jordan 4 Thunders that came out as far as quality. Well, at least I'm hoping so, but the initial reviews appears to be that way. I will not own that Jordan 4 Thunder. I just think Nike should have done such a better job on that release, but it is what it is. I will try to grab these and you can grab them for 200 euro. That is gonna round us off for today. I appreciate you guys joining me as always. I am going to try to get some more videos out this week. It has been a bit crazy, uh, needless to say, but I hope you guys enjoy it. Until then, Happy sneaker hunting.